Coach, Look at that welcome. Down here. What are you, know. Coach? Just, you are in the palace, or what? I know. I'm just a simple guy. Look what I got. Oh my God. Coach, where yeah. are you, Coach? Sorry, I think, Coach. I think I'm in uh, Habib's room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I'm in Habib's room again. Yeah, I don't know good. why. <laughs> then I always get lucky, Habib. I always get your rooms. Yeah. Oh. Ha Habib's oh. probably staying at Motel Six. Yeah. Right, Habib, you're probably staying at Motel Six. I'm right here <laughs> in your coach. room, like well, always. Exactly. Thanks, Habib. Welcome, welcome, Coach. Welcome. Look here, Sheikh. He is royalty here, Sheikh. He deserve, coach. He deserve. So as I'm walking into my room in Uzbekistan, hospitality is, man, all unbelievable. So I walk into my room and then I see this. Look at that. Ooh, have you ever seen such a huge fruit basket? My God, look at that. Even got a Habib Gorilla energy drink. Hmm, crazy. I'm going to gain... In the three, four days I'm here, a good four, five, you know, probably 10, 15 pounds. Thanks, Habib. You're the best. You would like a fat coach. Well, that's what you're creating over here. With all this great hospitality that you're opening the doors for me to have. Thanks. Again. Man, here we go again. Look at this. Uh, come on. Oh, my, how am I supposed to be able to lose weight? I no. gained five kilos. It's, it's your coach. fault. It's, you, it's your fault. It's you, coach. No, no, it's your, no, actually, no, it's your fault. It is fault. Yes. Hello. Yes. Uzbekistan, Tashkent, gentlemen's restaurants. There you go. That's the restaurant. They're the ones who did this to me. Gentlemen's restaurant. Boom. It's got through the heat. Now look what I get. I go to, to the arena here. Look at the arena. And these guys over here post me to this. It's like, these guys are unbelievable. I can't believe it. They just let me treat everybody like, just, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, this, I'm going to get fat. That's all I can tell you. Here I am at the Buka store where I got to pick up some nice, cool stuff. This gentleman right here who helped us out. And this guy who set it up again. But the good thing for me is I get free clothes for my kids because I can't fit into them because I'm too big. Thanks to you. No, no, it's not my fault. Yeah, it's your fault. It's not my fault. It's your fault. No. Yes, your I fault. Didn't force it to you. Beautiful clothes I can't fit into because you made me too big. Thank you. Thank you, Coach, to you. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. My kids thank you, too, because no, I got them no, clothes no. instead of me. It's thank not my you. fault, Coach. <laughs> Your fault. Oh, no, no, him. No, I was taking a picture of them. Yeah. Look at that. Did you ever oh, see this I've color? never seen pigeons different colors. Look pigeon at the different colors. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. This pigeon is a special pigeon. Special pigeon? Wow. Yes, My God. I've never seen them. No way. No one's ever seen these nah. pigeons. No way. No. Nah, no way, I swear. Look at this. Yes, coach. This is a special pigeon. This is your fault, coach. My fault? Yes. Why? Because, uh, because of you. Because of you, Arthur, too. No, okay. Unbelievable. Yes. Look at this. Yes. Have you ever seen that? No. Never, no. right? No. Pigeons no. are always like, not yes. like this. Yes. This is beautiful. Yes, coach. Wow. What type of rap is this, Mr. Mike? It's a MMA rap, but very common for a lot of the Kazakhstan and Russian fighters. They like... Uh, very thin knuckle pads and very light on the gauze. I attribute that to strong wrestling background and proper punching technique. Proper punching technique, is that right? Strong isn't hands, it? strong hands. Proper punching technique, is that correct? <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. okay, of course. Yeah. All right, Mike, you're doing a great job. Thanks, good job. Thanks, sir. And the specter watching there, doing a great job himself, so we're all good. Go with the triumphs that Islam Makachev from his fight in Abu Dhabi. So Islam, how, how, uh, how do you feel? 
I'm good, coach. You're good. Very good, yes. Okay. Uh, you know, when, when do you think you'll be fighting again? Where or when do you want to fight? No more, coach. Now I'm coach. You're, no, no. I want to know when you're gonna fight again. I'm coach. I'm fighting in January, or I don't know. I just waiting. I'm yeah? ready for January. I will be ready for January. Is there anybody in particular you want? I'm waiting for just top just 10. for an opponent. Just top ten. That's, that's what I'm saying. Top ten guy, right? Yeah. Uh, hopefully the UFC will give you that. I think they will. Yeah. You deserve it. Great job. So Tony, what is up with this Instagram? What do you do? Yeah, look, I do it all. I just want y'all to understand one thing. I'm a killer in the ring, but I'm a nice guy outside the ring. Much like the cuddly bear over there, but he, he don't seem so cuddly. All right. That cuddly guy over there? Yeah, but he. You're the cuddly bear? Yeah, you're with what? The Bulgarian assassin? What are you, Mitch? What are California you? kid. California kid. California but now we're back to Tony because he's the guy I really wanted to talk to. Now, what's up with this? You, you, you prank people? Nah, never, never prank people. Don't prank people? I just want people to know that we're going to have a good time fighting because we all been fighting since we were babies. Yeah. The first thing we know how to do is throw a punch before we can talk. You know what I mean? So. It's just a basic instinct. You don't punch basic. a coach, right? Coach. Nah, I never want to punch a coach. Yeah. Never, ever. So I'm safe. Yeah, 100% safe. <laughs> hey, anyone I, safe. I like being safe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>